Now we're doing the shampoo preparation for the abdus that we are about to do. Uh, we have Jamie, uh, a great model and also an actress, very successful and we're very, very happy to have you here. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to demonstrate our strongly uh, organic shampoo, which is great, uh, gives great results as far as the styling and uh, the health of the hair. Jamie, please have a seat. Diego is going to do the shampoo and as you can see, we're preparing a client uh, for our shampoo, which is very important. Here's what everything starts with for everything we're about to do, or either it's an apto, or either it's a keratin treatment, or either it's any salon service has to do with hair. The shampoo is very important. The right shampoo is going to give you the right result. We rinse and we use um, a lot of water uh, in order uh, to comfort the client and also remove some of the unwanted agent from previous services. And we apply our DS Organic Shampoo, which gives great lather, as much as great condition and uh, protein in the hair. This is, the, this is the best part of all services. All our clients enjoy it because of the peace, because of uh, the massage, and of course, because of what is about to happen after. This is the second part of uh, the Aptu preparation. The first thing was the shampoo, and the second is the blow dry and setting uh, the hair for the style that we're about to do. What we need to do at this point is to put the right products in and blow dry the hair in a way that creates a lot of body and a lot of texture in the hair. Uh, we're going to use our favorite product, which is the Smoother Creates Keratin. And what we're going to do is going to settle the hair and create texture in all the resisting areas. It's going to make the hair more controllable. And the second part, as far the product uses, is our second favorite product, which is the volumizing. We're going to spray a little bit of this in the roots, create a lot of body, as much as we can do. We have to be careful in the usage of the products. Those uh, are very concentrated, you don't have to use a lot. If you overuse, you're probably going to lead in a result that you don't want. It's good the usage to be exactly what you need and as much as you need. So now we're going to continue with the blow dry of the hair and the setting. I love to use clean stuff and uh, proper disinfected stuff like brushes and combs. I'm very organized and uh, I love salon cleanness. What we do right now, we're using the heat and the brush. The tension of the brush and the heat is what is going to create uh, the, um, the hair and looks beautiful, shine and healthy. Pretty much this is the most important part of the whole process. Doing, doing, doing the right way, um, pretty much any style is going to be successful. What 
we're doing at this point, we want to get the most uh, sign and volume with the brass and the heat. And create a body for uh, the style that we're going to do. This is a combination of tension and heat from the blower. Uh, using those two on the right way, we can blow dry pretty much any type of hair within 20 minutes. It's very important when we blow dry the hair before the setting, our client to have the right position in the head in order to have the right tension in areas that probably requires a little bit more heat to achieve the result of smoothing and straightening. And of course, using the wrong angle, probably the heat is going to uh, go to the next level, which is probably the skin, and you don't want your client uh, to be uh, overheated. Also, another technique that we're using here at DS Studio is we started to blow dry the hair from the end to the roots. What that do is creating a, a tension that achieves the style but without pulling people's hair or stuck people's hair in the brush. Again, the tension and the right hold is exactly what you need to create style and nice hair. So, after we're done with the blow dry, because we don't want to use excessive heat and over dry the hair, we prepare to use uh, a hat tool. Hat tool, it can be a curling iron or a flat iron, depending on the result. Uh, what we do, uh, pretty much, we shut down the outside layer of the hair. It gives more shine and more uh, curl and texture into it. That tool is uh, pretty much uh, the favorite tool of every well-known hairstylist. Uh, what it does make a life easier as far as uh, creating beautiful hair with almost no effort. This is a great tool to have at home or if you're traveling or whatever your event is. Uh, pretty much what we do, uh, we uh, smooth the hair and add texture to it at the same time. How we do that is like by creating a nice clean section, smooth the outside layer of the hair, which is create that shine, and then we curl it a little bit to create movement. It takes a few only minutes to uh, actually prepare the hair for the app that we're about to do. Taking nice clean sections, smooth and create a little move. Smooth and create a little move on the end. It's a good way and fast way at the same time. Uh, to finish a good hairstyle. This is most likely all the way we do to uh, prepare people for the event. Or if it's a wedding or it's a, a night out. The angles is very important to have the right tension. The A to Z for any style. The right usage of products and the right preparation of the hair. If you do those two, Success. You see how nice the flat iron actually slides in the hair. It creates that unbelievable structure of shine and bounce. Shine and bounce. You can't get better than this. Okay, almost done. Yeah, we almost we almost done with the preparation of the hair. We need one more setting for 
the best result we can ever have and achieve. So what we do is, in order to create a nice style, the preparation uh, with the hat tools is number one, but also the setting is also important. What it's going to create is going to create a natural lift from the root to the end. What we're trying to achieve is natural lifting of the root. Because the hair, it has a tension to fall later on in the day. By doing that preparation, you keep the hair pretty much bouncy and uh, with a lot of volume during the whole event. That's very, very important. Look down a little. Again, the right angle of the head has to be in a position that you're creating that lift of the root with your hands. You have to uh, demand your clients sometimes to twist left, right, down, nothing wrong with it. Trust me, the result is gonna pay off. After we're done what we have to use, we have to use a little bit of the hairspray that is gonna help us to the hold. Not too much, just a little in order to set. We leave set for at least 10 minutes and we'll be right back to take this down and also to create two gorgeous hairstyles with three simple moves. Nothing pleases the client when it's able to get service at the same time. So while we're setting the hair, it's a great opportunity for uh, to polish and do a manicure for the event we have according to the dress, the color, and uh, if it's a black tie or if it's just a regular party. Um, so uh, our manicure for today is going to be uh, smoking hot with nail polish and um, it's been given by uh, Rosario. Uh, our manicure is here, which is great, and using uh, organic uh, nail polish uh, with less chemicals. First, I'm going to file the nails so that they have um, a shape to them and they're all evenly shaped. And then I'm going to dip them in warm water so that it softens the cuticle because we're going to push the cuticle back and cu uh, cut the cuticle. So now I'm pushing the cuticle back and cutting them and I applied a cuticle oil to keep the cuticles healthy and moisturized. And then we're gonna spray with disinfectant spray because we just clipped them and we wanna keep the hands healthy. Now the customer's favorite part, of applying the lotion and giving a massage. And we do the hands and the wrists area to because it feels good, the customer likes it and it's nice. And then you apply the hot towel, which sets the lotion into the skin so that your hands stay moisturized but not greasy. And we're going to take a cotton swab and wipe the nail bed down to prep the nail bed for the polish and the color. And now we're applying the base coat, which preps the nail for the first coat. 
for that so the color spreads across the nail evenly. So we apply Smoking Hot, which is the color. It's a gunmetal gray. It's good for the fall. And we apply it evenly by doing it from the corner and working our way around the nail and up the side. If you're at home, you could uh, use a cotton on a stick to wipe around the sides if there's any accidents. So then the last step after we have the color on the nail, nice and smooth, is a top coat which dries very quickly and it's very shiny, keeps the nails looking pretty. And then we have the final effect. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the part that I really, really love. Like pretty much we did everything we need to do. So now we're taking the set down. Just look down, take those clips out. Now all the hard work starts showing. You can tell how the hair have a nice formation. And that formation will help us a lot to uh, uh, achieve uh, the style of result we need. We apply a little hairspray in the hands and help direct a little of the resisting areas we might be still have. We're doing an off-center apto. Uh, my name is Dimitrios Potamianos. I'm the owner of DS Studio Organic Hair Care. Uh, here is our model, Jamie, uh, model and actress. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, off-center um, apto for pretty much fit all the events from black tie, even for just a party. Very easy to achieve. You wanna make sure that you separate the back of the hair from the front. And it's a, it's a great technique to look where natural the hair parts. Uh, right now, Jamie parting on the right. So from the same direction, you have to do the base uh, for the abdu. Symmetrically uh, works uh, better with the part and the off-center creates a balance at the front and on the side. So what we need to do, separate two sections, the front part and the back part. We apply a little bit of our organic hairspray, creates a balance and moisture. And you can achieve that in a couple of minutes. All you need is a rubber band and a couple of clips. You need to comb the hair, Create that shine after all the hard work we did by preparing. Now the achievement and the result is coming along. You want to grab this as off center as possible.
coordinate the meeting? So what we do, we're creating the off-center base. Starting with a few pins and show the off-center balance symmetrically from the part back on the base. You can direct the hair a little bit off and that's how the whole style is going to be created. Adding a few more pieces is going to create more texture. Pretty much is everything about the preparation we did before. Pretty much now everything fall in place by itself. Creating the right base, now all you have to do is to be creative and do uh, style with the hair and the material you have. Make sure that you show the beautiful features of your client, which is at this moment our beautiful model, Jamie. They make my life and uh, my job so much easier. Everything has to go in the base. The pins has to go in the base, not disturb the rest of the style. And the pins it cannot be shown. There you go. All we have to do at this point is like to be creative and just show the texture and the right balance of the person's face. Simply as that. So it's nice symmetric style and you can wear that pretty much anywhere you go. I will have to be a little more creative and adjust a few pieces. And we can always finish that with our organic hairspray. Creates hold, shine. Three pins, one rubber band. Preparation and hairspray is giving us the ultimate result. This is the finished look. We want to see the shine and the right balance. A few pieces around uh, the face and pretty much shows our work that we did earlier uh, with all steps uh, coming along at the very end. With a rubber band, three, four bob pins, you can create a style that is red carpet. So for our second app to second style, uh, we're gonna create uh, a little more tighter structure, which is again, we're not gonna need a lot of time. We're just gonna need a couple of pins. And uh, from the preparation we did previously, the hair pretty much go itself. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna brush the hair like nicely and more neat. We comb the hair for a tighter structure. So after we comb the hair, we'll create a nice tight structure and 
also by hands creating a nice high at the top of the head using the existing beautiful shine here we prepared previously and all we're gonna need is like a few pins for a nice and uh, very glamorous look fitting all the needs of uh, from red carpet until a nice simple night out pretty much we use our creativity and pretty much we're using uh, the balance the, the face and the high we want to create to the person um, and uh, we want to keep the shine and we want to keep a nice structure in the middle of the of the head. The secret of the Abdu for any event is the right preparation, the right product but also a lot of creativity. Uh, you can transform any type of hair into a nice full and healthy and with a lot of body and a lot of volume or either you can do a tighter sleeker look for I guess a little more black tie event. Sometimes the less is always better. We can always add a little hairspray for shine and hold but like I said, the less is always better. Now we're done with the uh, structure of this specific hairdo. Uh, pretty much we pin uh, the hair in the, uh, in the base, uh, back of the head of the person, creates a little height and slicker look in front, make it glamorous for uh, a more advanced invent like black tie.